What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to show you how you can export your Laravel views to PDF. This is a part of my premium course, so if you like this video, check out the course I'm working on at usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at Laravel DOM PDF. This package allows you to export any of your views in Laravel to PDF format. So let's jump right into it and take a look at an example. So I already have a Laravel 5.7 app scaffolded out. So let's go ahead and compose or acquire the package. And while that's going, let's just make a view in here. So I'm just going to make a new one here. Let's call it invoice.blade.php. And let me just call it invoice invoice goes here and it's going to our routes and let's make a new one called invoice and let's return that invoice okay and let's go there okay so to use this package All we have to do is, let's use the facade here, do this. So I'm just going to grab that, and it's going to comment this out, and I'm paste that in. And you can pass it data if you want here, but I'm not going to do that here for the example. Let's remove this, and the file name will be invoice PDF. Okay, let's see if this works. And there you go, you see it downloaded the PDF and there is our content in PDF format. All right, let's take a look at some of the options here. So actually, let me show you, you can just drop an image in here if you like. Let me just wrap this in a div so they all both go on their own line. But if you want an image, you can totally do that. And I'm just pasting in a placeholder image and see if that works. Okay. And there you go. Cool. Okay. What else? Um, there is a config file if you want to look at the options so we can publish that. And it, it created that config DOM PDF file. So let's look at that. And personally, I just leave everything as default. Um, but if you want like custom fonts, you can specify the font path here. And some other options, which like I said, I don't really use, but you can take a look if you like. Okay, what else? Here's a rundown of the options. If you want page breaks, you can just specify this CSS and then make a div with that class and then it will break the page. Let me go ahead and show you. So let's just put a style tag up here. Let's do that. And let's make a div with a class of page break. And then let's put some more content here, say another page. And now there should be two pages. Let me close this. Okay. And there you go. There's two pages. So that's the gist of it. Nothing too complicated, but if you're rendering something with a more complex layout, it can get tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and make a basic invoice format and we'll take a look at some of the issues we run into. Okay, so I went ahead and made this invoice layout in HTML and CSS, but I kept a few things in mind. When we're exporting to PDF, we do not have access to modern CSS features such as Flexbox or CSS Grid. So we're stuck with using floats and the old way of doing CSS. I'm sure there is a reason for that. 
So what I did was I used Bootstrap 3 because Bootstrap 4 uses Flexbox and we can't use Flexbox. So I used Bootstrap 3 to come up with this invoice format. And this is typically what you would see in a user dashboard. And I also have this button for save as PDF if the user wants to download it as a PDF. So right now it's obviously rendering as just a normal Laravel view. So let's go ahead and change it back so it renders out the PDF. So I'm going to comment that out and let's see what we get. Let's put a refresh. And it takes a second because it has to download Bootstrap. And as you can see, it still doesn't look correct with HTML rendering incorrectly. So what I did was I made another view that renders out nicely in PDF format. So if you go back to my code, I have this other one called invoice PDF. So let's just duplicate this and we just show you how this looks. So this one doesn't look good in the browser, but it looks good as PDF. So let me just show you the um, the browser version first, and then I'll show you the PDF version. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at that. Actually, let me just make a route. Actually, I just okay. Let me just make a link from this button here to go to that one that's what we want. So in here, where's the button? Right here. Okay, so it's already there. I already have it from my other project. Okay. So let me just refresh this. I'm sorry, that downloaded it. So we can just press this and this will take us to our new one. Okay, so this is how it renders out in the browser and it doesn't look very good, but it does look good as a PDF. So let me just change this. So let's take this out and sorry, I should just refresh it actually. And there we go. And it looks pretty good. So yeah, we have two separate views, but I don't find that too bad. And what you can do is you can just bypass this one entirely and just have a save as PDF button directly from say the user's account details, which will render out this nicely formatted PDF version. So there you have it guys, we managed to use this Laravel DOM PDF package to export our Laravel views to PDF format. I hope you can use it in your applications. So yeah, definitely check out the course I'm working on if you like this, as I'll be taking a look at other packages and giving examples for those ones as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.